Hi everybody. Today I am going to read one of my favorite stories. It's a story about a buddy who imagines that he sees carrots, creepy carrots, everywhere. And the name of the story is called Creepy Carrots. Before I read the story, I want to talk to you a little bit about imagination. And what is imagination? Well, that's something that we use so that we can see things inside of our minds that aren't really there. For example, if I'm feeling sad, I can imagine being somewhere that makes me feel happy and that helps me to feel better. Imagination also helps you in that you can create things or you can invent things in your mind. Now, imagination can sometimes scare us because in our minds we can imagine things that aren't really there or aren't really real for example this is a bat and bats are animals and they don't hurt people but somebody used their imagination and they thought of a story about a human that could turn into bats and a bat that could turn into a human, and they imagined something called a vampire. Now, vampires aren't real, but they imagined that, and they wrote a story about that. So you may see pictures of vampires now, or movies, or stories, but they're not real. They came from someone's imagination. So you can use your imagination to help you when you're scared that's what i try to do and i talk to myself and i say you know what that's not real that's only imaginary and i imagine other things instead try okay so the name of the story again is called creepy carrots and the author is aaron reynolds and the illustrator or the person who wrote the pictures his name is peter brown Creepy carrots. Here we go. Jasper Rabbit had a passion for carrots and the carrots that grew in cracker hopping field were the best, fat, crisp, and free for the taking. Can you imagine that? Having carrots growing all over, you can just pull them out of the ground. He looks like a happy bunny. He pulled some for a morning snack on his way to school. And he yanked out a few on his way to his baseball practice. And he ripped them from the ground on his way home at night. Jasper couldn't get enough carrots. I guess that's his favorite food until they started following him. Do you think carrots were actually following him or do you think it was his imagination? We shall see. There he is. He first noticed something strange after the big game against the East Valley Hares. Jasper was about to help himself to a victory snack when he heard it, a soft, sinister chunk, crunk, chunk, crunk of carrots creeping. He turned, but there was nothing there. Just my imagination, he thought. But he hopped a little faster. That night, as he was brushing his teeth, there they were in the shower. Jasper whipped around with nothing. He laughed to himself, picked up his toothbrush off the floor, and went to bed quickly. So, There's a towel and it looks like some soap and a rubber ducky, but in his imagination, 
you saw the little carrots. The next morning, he approached Kraken Hopping Field slowly. There he is. He reached for two wild carrots. Nothing happened. He bit into one. He's biting it. Phew! Creepy carrots. It was ridiculous. Just my imagination. But when he arrived home that evening, what did he see? I'm going to bring the camera closer. What's in the window? Mom! Mom! Jasper screamed. Keep, creepy carrots are in the shed. His mom opened the door slowly. There wasn't any carrots, not even the regular kind. What, what was that? That's clippers and a saw and looks like some paint. There are no such thing as creepy carrots, mom said, shaking her head. Later that night, as Jasper landed, he heard it breathing, terrible carroty breathing, and there on his wall, what did he see? What is that? Creepy carrots, he shouted, Dad, Dad! His dad dumped into his bedroom and threw on the lights. What was making that shadow? Not a creepy carrot. They searched under the bed. No creepy carrots. They looked through the closet. No creepy carrots in there. And they opened the drawers. No creepy carrots. Just a bad dream, son, said his dad. Now go to sleep. That wasn't going to happen. Jasper's imagination is working in his brain. By the end of the week, Jasper was seeing creepy carrots, creepy everywhere. Jasper knew his parents were wrong. Creepy carrots were real and they were coming for him. But then they couldn't get them if they couldn't get out. So see, he used his imagination. He's creating something. What do you think Jasper's gonna do? Jasper had a plan. First thing on Saturday, he grabbed supplies and headed for Kraken Hoppin' Field. What is he building? He's watering, pounding nails. Hmm. And as the sun set across Kraken Hoppin' Field, Jasper Rabbit smiled. On his way home, there was no crunchunk, crunchunk, crunchunk. There were no carrot-shaped shadows. His plan had worked. No creepy carrots would ever get out of the carrot patch again. Huh, he used his imagination. Do you think he solved his problem? And as the sun finally set, the carriage of Kraken Hopping Field cheered. Yay! Their creepy plan had worked. They were sure of it. Jasper Rabbit would never get into the carriage carrot patch again. 
that's a funny story. Is it real? No, but it was fun. So remember, you can use your imagination to help you, okay? All right, have a great day. Oh, I'm going to make something a little bit later. I'm going to try to do an experiment, and I'll post that too. Have a good day.